Have you ever found yourself scratching your head, trying to figure out how to access query parameters in Django channels? It can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. Today, we're gonna unravel this mystery together. I totally get it. Accessing query parameters can feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack, especially when you're in the middle of a project. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, how do I access the query parameter dictionary from Django channels? They provided an example URL that looks like this, ws127.018000 slash world. Sound familiar? If you're in the same boat, let's explore how to retrieve that value. So what's the deal with query parameters in Django channels? When you establish a WebSocket connection, you can pass data through the URL. This data can be accessed in your consumer, allowing you to customize the behavior of your application based on the parameters provided. And stick around. I have a handy tip at the end that will make working with Django channels even easier. To access query parameters in Django channels, the user should first ensure they have a WebSocket consumer set up. This consumer will handle incoming WebSocket connections. Next, the user needs to override the connect method in their consumer. This is where they will access the query parameters from the scope. After retrieving the query parameters, the user should parse them to extract the values they need. This can be done using the urllib.parse module. Finally, the user can use the extracted value in their application logic. For example, they can send a response back to the client using the value retrieved from the query parameters. Fun fact, did you know that the first WebSocket protocol was standardized in 2011? It has come a long way since then, making real-time communication a breeze. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to accessing query parameters in Django channels involves using the urllib.parse module. First, you can parse the query string from the scope dictionary. This will give you a dictionary of query parameters. If you find yourself needing to access query parameters frequently, consider creating a middleware. This middleware can wrap your ASGI application and automatically parse the query parameters for you. Here's that handy tip I promised. Always validate your query parameters to ensure they contain the expected values. This can save you from unexpected errors down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to access query parameters in Django channels like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy coding.